First thing we're gonna do, I forgot why I was in the car. I didn't really forget, I just figured I'd do it out here. Is drain the oil. Let's see what this looks like. I don't know really what to expect. If the guy was beating on the car, you should be changing the oil fairly regularly, but you never know what you get. And black. I picked up a bunch of these LED lights on sale. I don't know why they were on sale. They still have them. They haven't had a sale on them since I got them. Because I do want to get more of them. These are... 20,000 lumen LED lights. <laughs> they... I don't know what the specs are on here. Um, no, 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 I'm sorry. I was wrong. 12,000 lumens. Uh, runs at 110 watts. And I got them at Menards. I like these lights. They're definitely bright. And that oil is still just seeping out of there. That must be pretty thick. See if I can hang this up without spilling everything and falling off of here. Unplug that one. Plug in this one. How's that? A little bit brighter? Let's see if we can show you guys how black this oil is. No. I guess it's not diesel black, but black enough. It smells like oil. Looks like oil. Tastes like oil. Looks like quite a bit of oil. I don't know, aren't these only supposed to hold five quarts like a normal engine? That looks like a lot. Let me try to twist it and get as much as we can out of here. Because it will make a mess on this bench. That's what keeps this bench from rusting, though. Subaru Motors. That is more than five quarts. I, well, I've seen that before too. There was a 6.0 diesel I got one time. I forget what the deal was. Yeah, obviously, it Ford 6.0 diesel aren't known to be great motors, but yeah, the guy... I forget exactly what it was doing. It was either making a noise or had gaskets and were shot in it or quit running or whatever. And the guy kept dumping oil in it. More and more oil. Trying to, I, trying to get it to run or make the noise go away. I don't know what people's thoughts are <laughs> when they do that, but... I've seen that before. Like I said, that's probably what the case is here. Motor started making noise and, well, throw some more oil on her. Wow. Why is that so tight? That just goes into plastic. I think I'm just gonna loosen up intake bolts and start wiggling on it and see what's connected. These things are handy. It's a socket, that's a 10 millimeter with a swivel built in. So it's compact, works well. 
Actually, I think I'm gonna put you guys up and over the top just so you can look down on what I'm doing. Maybe that'll be a better angle for you guys. That's pretty good. All right. I know the STI intake, the plenum, is aluminum. This one is plastic, obviously. Is it worth it to upgrade to STI parts? Like this intake, uh, STI intercooler, anything else? Let me know in the comments. Uh, what kind of upgrades and stuff I should be doing while all of this is apart. Oh, look at that one, it's rusty. Next a plastic line that goes across the back. It's a uh, crankcase or valve cover vent hoses. They are stiff. There's the last intake bolt. Should just fall right off, right? I don't know why it's being such a pain for some of these. I wonder if this motor got hot. That's why some of this plastic junk is so hard and brittle. What a mess of stuff. What the motor's been through. Like I said, if it got hot, you're gonna wanna replace all these gaskets and seals. They're gonna be all hard and crusty. Cause it's guaranteed. Get it all back together and you start driving it. And a week or a month goes by or instantly it'll start leaking somewhere it'll be pissing antifreeze out or oil and you will be kicking yourself saying I was right there I could have replaced that it was so easy but now I gotta tear half of the motor apart to get to that one gasket or that one seal.
Same thing, split right open. Those are brittle. Hey Mike, how are you? Pretty good, how are you doing? Not too bad. Well, we're getting closer. I've never seen, I don't know what their deal is with 4,000 hoses junk. My God, it's like, <laughs> just nuts. Is two is a turbo whiskey control. Now that's it. Holy hoses! Just hoses everywhere. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is one of those hoses from crankcase or valve cover or the evac system. And you can see in there, the hose broke right in half. I don't know if that was like that or that happened when I was playing with it. But this hose <laughs> is so hard and brittle. I mean, you, you can't even squeeze that because it's so hard. This end... Up further away, wherever it was, has a you can it's a little pliable, but this man hard as a rock. So I take a container. Well, like I talked about in the other video, when I pull parts off, I always keep parts or nuts and bolts fasteners with the parts when they're coming off. Something like this, well, there's a lot of them. I'll take a container. Throw all the fasteners from whatever I just pulled off in that container. And that container will go on the part that came off. So in this case, all these nuts and bolts and fasteners will go. And even those clips will go on the intake. And then I know when I go and grab that intake and I'm going to put it back on, I know this container all the fasteners for it there's a straw here from i don't know i'm assuming wd-40 can Ooh, allen wrench see just yesterday i was talking about finding tools six millimeter finding tools in cars i find this all the time random tools this is the second one in this car i found a 5.5 millimeter socket the other day down in the engine bay i put those in my lost tool drawer in my toolbox and just like yesterday for that one bolt that i had to get out uh if i gotta cannibalize a tool well then i have them there to cannibalize cut it up grind it down whatever i needed to do what is that it's like a another egr valve that's one for each side Weird designs. Yeah, and the timing belt. Uh, yesterday I was talking about that Gates timing belt sticker on the hood. There are tons of bolts missing out of this timing cover. Ah, you only need like, what, two? It's just a cover. Talking about snapping every one of these bolts, and then other people said I just left my water tube on because I don't want to deal with it. And sure enough, snapped it right off, and it is rusting like it had a bolt. 
the bolt is fine, but it's all rusted and chalked down in the block. Awesome. Yeah, it was definitely wrenched on before. He had the turbo off. I wonder... <coughs> Twat four. Maybe you blew up a turbo on it. I don't know. Is this an upgraded turbo? I don't even know. banjo into the head right here and it comes all the way up oh oh it shares okay so it's pulling oil out of the head right there going one way feeding the turbo and coming this way and feeding the variable cam timing I wonder what Subaru calls their variable cam timing everybody's got their own name for it Turbo should pop right off like that. Turbo charger. That's probably stock, right? Model RHF fifty five. Is that stock? I mean, it sure looks like stock. Marvel. You guys tell me, is that a stock turbo? What? Uh -uh. And another broken bolt. Oh, good times, Subaru. Good times. Why dual EGRs? I mean, if they're going to be connected, why have two? Why just have a hose run from each side to one EGR and have one control? I don't know. Just doesn't make a lot of sense. Why they do the things they do. Water tube. Nice and crowded. Oh my gosh, there's like. <laughs> Look at this. I wonder how that got in there. Nuts and stuff. Like, not fastener nuts, like acorn nuts. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> you get the timing cover off. Maybe I'll bring you guys back down so you can see the front of this. Or... No, I won't tip it up on its back. Got a guaranteed break off the EGR. Plug. 
which maybe I should try unbolting that right now. And just break all those bolts off too. Yeah, I suppose. Break it all. These are 12 millimeters. Oh, these are going to come out. I am shocked. Yes. Fasteners and gasket with that one. Get this tube off. Break those bolts. Oh wow. And here too, like this kind of thing. Okay, 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter. Why use a 12 up here? Why couldn't it have been another 10? Why keep swapping back and forth? Different fasteners everywhere. I swear sometimes it's just to mess with people. Let's see what's that connected to a bunch of hoses down here. That's all water lines. They both go to thermostat housing down here. Oh, there's antifreeze in there. That's okay. two hoses went to the thermostat housing crank pulley sometimes those are fun assuming it's a 22 yeah <laughs> whoa that was loose well, I guess, I'm going to guess the reason more than half of these timing cover bolts are not in here are because they broke off. Because what the hell? Now you can see apparently obvious anodizing the bolts <laughs> does not stop the rust I mean this one had you saw there's two bolts in this cover a whole center cover
so you said gates timing belt I don't know, uh, I can see some faded numbers here. OHC328, made in Japan. I don't see anywhere where it says gates. Lifting up on the tensioner. You put this pin in, there's a hole. through the tensioner and through the rod where you put that pin in and then it holds that tensioner up. So then the belt has slack. Uh, pulling these off, you have to be careful that none of the pistons are on top dead center all the way out. So you pull this timing belt off and one of these cams is on the edge of a lobe and snaps back. It can snap a valve into the piston. Um, we are not nowhere near top dead center. You can see where the, watch your fingies. in between all the valves or in between all the lobes so that one's able to turn What's this one that one must be on a lobe it is stuck this one there's a car alarm again this one in between the lobes that's good because then all the valves are shut on that I think that's intake side. Yeah, the top is intake, duh. All right, this belt. Like I said, there's the only numbers I see. And they look fairly worn already. I don't see anywhere where it says gates. From what I remember, all the gates belts that I've seen say gates. I don't see no gates. They're not tensioner pulley, idler pulley. The tensioner I think was replaced. It looks like it was, it looks newer. Even the pulley inside of here, everything looks a little bit newer. Water pump, yeah, it looks it looks a little newer, but uh, it's hard to tell until I get in. Oh, yeah. Do you hear that one? That's the geared idler pulley on the bottom. Definitely not replaced. Right. I'm curious about this clutch. Like I said, if you saw my video of pulling the motor out, I said the clutch says Exedi on it. Exedi, I don't know, how do you say that? I think it's just Exedi. Exedi, Exedi. Curious to see what it looks like. Remove, leave the top one in. Start at the bottom. Oh. 
an Exeti fiber disc. Yeah. I don't think Exeti is in stock, I don't imagine, right? Did he put Exeti clutches in WRX's stock? But man, it is fairly well torn up. I mean, you can see the fibers coming out. <laughs> Look at that pressure plate. Wow. She had some heat. She must have been launched a few times. So I wonder if this guy was doing drag racing more than... More than road courses and stuff in this car. This clutch is shot. Those fibers are all falling apart. Flywheel is pretty, pretty toasty as well. Pilot bearing in the middle of the flywheel doesn't feel very good either. I don't think that was replaced when they're in here. All right. Put this clutch on the side. We're probably going to be getting a clutch and a pressure plate for sure. Uh, like I said in my last video, the throw up bearing is shot. And this flywheel, I'm probably and just. Reason, oh man. Look at this is all just fibrous clutch material. <laughs> Coming out of that Xiddy clutch. Like I said, grandma driven, stored indoors, baby its entire life. Never raced. One owner, immaculate car. On marketplace, twenty thousand dollars. Don't miss your chance. Oh, look at this flywheel! Look at all that heat. It's been raining hard. That looks like a lot of hard. Oh, we'll drive launching on there. I gotta get at that. exhaust bolts. Sorry. Pull this stuff out. Shouldn't need to hold it up anymore. You see, it's just more broken bolts to come. Okay. There was a ground wire here, you guys can't see. Just rotted away, broken off. These bolts have been taken out as well. I wonder. Why? These bolts were taken out. Man. That guy was just digging in everything out here.
horrible. I don't really know how rusty that is. Why? Same with that. Look at all those laminations delaminating. Just it's disappointing. If it wasn't for rust, you could theoretically keep a vehicle going forever. Everything else is just replaceable parts. Blow up a motor, you put a different motor in. Wheel bearings wear out and you replace the wheel bearings. Brakes wear out, you replace the brakes. Everything is a replaceable. But a vehicle rots out from rust and it's junk. Anytime you're pulling cam caps off any motor, you want to do them slowly and equally. You pull off all these bolts and you leave just one cam cap on there, and those valves are pushing back on that cam. There's a chance you could snap that cam off right at that cap. No, it's metric. head bolt. This is the WRX head bolt. 
Yeah, a little bit longer. Is that just because I got... Oh, I guess this, uh, this is a better more kind of uh, steady tension. Um, This one compared to this one, you see this ring on the outside. That is from the piston slapping it. You can see this one, no ring. And this one has this ring <laughs> where the piston was slapping the, the head. I did not expect to see that. You see the piston doesn't work bad, but you can see where it's shiny on the outside where it was slapping the head. The cylinder walls look good. Huh. So was or is it? Bad rod bearings? I could turn that crank pretty far before that piston starts to move. Oh, can you guys see that? See how much I can turn this, and that piston does not move. Let's 
Huh. Yeah, that could be rod. Yeah. I don't know if you can see both of them in here. That piston moves right away when I'm turning it. It comes up top that center and starts going back down right away. This one I can get 10, 12 degrees of turn before it starts to move. Food on there. Good. All right. Oh yeah. Look at all that glitter. Can you guys see that glitter? Looks like gold. That is rod bearing. This one right here. The rod is right there. I don't know if you can see the crank next to it. Bouncing all around like I dug down a hallway. Alright, I'm going inside. I'm gonna have a beer and Thanks for watching everyone.